Hi everyone, welcome to Ponderings of the Priest. Today I'm going to continue to share um, some thoughts, some ponderings of our bishop, Susan Haynes. And uh, she is reflecting upon the Gospel of John from the, ele at the 11th chapter, verses 1 to 45. So it's John 11, 1 to 45. If you'd like to read ahead, be put this on pause and read and then come back to it. And she says, this week we have another long selection from the Gospel of John. It is a familiar story, however, of the raising of Lazarus from the dead and is considered one of the many signs in John that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. It is also perhaps the gift of a peek or glimpse into what is going to happen with Easter. For Martha and Mary and for those gathered with them, Lazarus is dead, completely and surely dead. In fact, while his body does not quite present as the dried up bones from Ezekiel, in the minds of those who have gathered, he has about as much chance of living again as those bones did. But Jesus' promise to Mary and Martha is that if they believe, they will see the glory of God. Jesus' voice compels obedience as he cries, Lazarus, come out. This order is followed quickly by the command that Lazarus be freed of the grave clothes which bind and restrain him. Those clothes are for the dead, not for the living. And Lazarus is now certainly among the living. So here are the questions she asks for us to ponder. Where are you right now? Are you among the living? Or are you in a dusty, dried out tomb longing to hear Jesus' command for you to come out? From what grave clothes do you need to be unbound and set free? Can you possibly understand that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? And so we can say, well, what is it I believe? And what can we believe? is what Paul reminds us is that with God all things are possible. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And what are the grave clothes that we are being bound in? Fear, anxiety, uncertainty, um, at some juncture, a, a despondency perhaps. Will this ever end? They're good things for us to ponder and to consider. Um, they're good questions for Lent to start off with just in general, but they're excellent questions for us to ponder and to seek, and here's the key, to seek God's guidance in finding a way out and finding a way up and finding that hope that we find in belief. And even when we, we aren't quite sure Believe that we believe, believe that I believe. And the wonderful prayer is, God, I believe, help me with my unbelief. And if that's where we have to start, then that's where we have to start. But we will see the glory of God as we come to believe in Jesus, God's Christ, the Messiah. Have a wonderful day, everyone.